What's going on guys? I'm Gold Gas. Today we're going to be looking at gas on boats. If you enjoy, drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Push that bell notification button as well. If you don't do that, you might miss out on some uh, new videos that drop. Maybe some new promotions and new competitions. So it's worth doing. This video is aimed at anyone training or needs a refresher, but should not be attempted by anyone unless you are gas safe registered and have your LPG qualification and your boat qualification as well. The gas bottle locker can be pretty much anywhere, so it might be difficult to find if you are on your own. Sometimes it's easier to look for the drain hole on the outside and then that might give you an indication at least what side it's on roughly again it might be the other side and the drain might go through the boat for some reason i've seen it all sometimes you get lucky and it's actually labeled now this isn't a gas tip it's more of a heads up that you want to wear shoe covers you need dust sheets you want to be very careful where you stand don't scratch anything if you've got a hard toolbox just everything cost the world so just be extra careful now I look at this and the first thing I can see is some plastic sheeting on the bottom and some obstacles in there they need to be removed because there's a drain at the bottom which takes any gas since LPG is heavier and if there's a gas leak there's a little tube from that little hole that takes it outside the boat so if that's blocked the gas can come back in so it's very important there's nothing in there that can block it up there's stability the bottles shouldn't be able to topple over when the boat is in motion like most LPG there's the hoses that need to be checked on these ones there's actually a suggested date when they should be replaced a year and uh, we're way past that on these ones so they definitely need to be replaced in the world of gas on boats you're going to find all sorts of fittings left hand thread right hand thread all different sizes depending on the country they're from some might not fit others the bottles the regulators the hoses some hoses come with the thread and the nuts on them already um, so you're going to have to carry a lot of stock and do a lot of reading up. as mentioned before it's very important on boats that you need to be safe because if there's a gas leak it's going to sink to the lowest point and if it builds up and if there's some sort of ignition and then it's going to go back. Good practice if you're working on the boats to install a test point so you can do a tightness at any point in the future. There are bubble testers available which I will do a screenshot of and you can tee it into the pipework and you push down on the plunger and basically if it bubbles you have a gas leak. Very handy. Insurance companies require this as well a lot these days. Here's one of the drain holes from the gas locker. Very important you test that this is clear. Here's a clip of one of the drains that is blocked and it's filled up very quickly in there. Appliances on the boats can vary. Got your gas oven, gas hob, test them like you normally would. Different styles of gas ovens. Some of them are on hooks and move with the boat so it always stays level if there's a hob as well on top so that stays level plenty of isolators plenty of hidden pipes very important you do a tightness test make sure the hoses are up to date they will be hard to get to more often than not so you're gonna have to take a lot of stuff apart I hope 
this has been helpful. If you want to see any more on boats or anything else, just let me know. If you add me on social media, on Instagram or Twitter, then you can find some competitions, promotions and some plumbing disasters as well. That does it for this video. Thanks for watching.